The U.S. is slamming China over human rights abuses in the Xinjiang region. It's where about a million Uyghur Muslims and other ethnic minority groups are believed to be held in internment camps. China argues it's running re-education centers to fight Islamic extremism. Now, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with several Uyghurs yesterday in Washington, and one woman described how she survived torture in the camps, and the other stood Pompeo about their family members still being detained. CBS News State Department reporter Christina Ruffini is following this story from Washington. Christina, always good to see you. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. First up, uh, what exactly happened in yesterday's meeting, and what was the overall main purpose of talking with Uyghurs? So Secretary Pompeo met with this group of Chinese Uyghurs, including an individual who says they were sent to one of these re-education camps where human rights groups and the U.S. government say more than a million Chinese Muslims and other ethnic minorities are subjected to horrendous treatment and even torture in order to basically erase them of their ethnic identities. In the 2018 Human Rights Report, the State Department said there are reports the Chinese government forces Muslims in these facilities to eat pork or drink alcohol, which of course goes against their religion. They confiscate Korans and other religious items and could even subject them to physical and sexual abuse. So listen, Christina, Secretary Pompeo tweeted, and it's a, to me it's a pretty strongly worded tweet, um, the world cannot afford China's shameful hypocrisy towards Muslims. On one hand, China abuses more than a million Muslims at home, but on the other, it protects violent Islamic terrorist groups from sanctions at the UN. What are we to make of this tweet? So China has repeatedly blocked or tried to block efforts uh, to sanction a Pakistani terrorist leader, Masood Azir, uh, at the UN. The U.S. is now trying some procedural hurdles to basically go around that, and Chinese officials warned the U.S. yesterday to, quote, act cautiously before trying to force that measure through. But there's been a big emphasis on the treatment of Uyghur Muslims coming out of the State Department in past weeks. Aside from the obvious humanitarian reasons, it could be the administration is trying to gather political leverage in negotiations like this one at the UN or even other issues with China to say look if you don't give us X or yield on issue Y we're gonna take action against you for what you're doing to this group and others in these camps uh, Christina lawmakers have pushed for the US to take a stand against China's human rights abuses toward Uyghurs uh, what's been the Trump administration's policy on this so far and could yesterday's meeting have any impact on the United States strategy moving forward well, it's a big deal for the Secretary of State to meet with anyone, right? It elevates the issue and lends legitimacy to the cause. And the meeting itself is a bit of a warning shot, telling the Chinese, again, yes, the U.S. is aware of this problem and we're taking it very seriously. Now, why the sudden interest and what the U.S. plans to do about it, whether it's weighing sanctions, et cetera, we'll have to see. Now, keep in mind, the U.S. already has a trade war with China. American negotiators are currently in Beijing trying to work out a resolution there, and the U.S. needs China's help to get North Korea back to the table. Special Envoy Stephen Began, you might remember him from Hanoi, is also in China this week taking meetings on the North Korea issue. There's also Huawei, Chinese intellectual property theft, cyber attacks, and a laundry list of other problems which the U.S. and China have to work out. So it, America is taking the treatment of the nation's 11 million Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities very seriously. But, as Pompeo said in that human rights report in the intro for it, the policy of this administration is to engage with other governments regardless of their human rights record if it serves American interests. So we'll have to see where this ranks on the list of America's priorities abroad. Indeed. Christina, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.